Here goes a lesson on Them Changes from Band of Gypsies by Jimi Hendrix. We're just going to do a little bit of this intro and kind of the basic rhythm to get you started. Okay, so let's take a look at that beginning. We're going to have the 12th fret of the G string with the D open string bass note. We're going to go 12 to 11 on that G string. Then we're going to do the same thing, one string above that. Then we're going to hit that 11 with the open A string again to the 12. And then we're going to slide that 12 to 14 on the D string, come up to the 12th fret of the G string there. this new riff but first let's do that first one together kind of slow two three eh. and again okay now our new riff we're gonna slide into the 14th fret kind of from the 12 on the D string So this is part of the A minor pentatonic scale right there with the A be beginning here in the 12th fret of the A. So we got. Fourteen, twelve, fifteen, twelve. Then you're gonna bend this 14 of the G string. So. Then we're gonna go down a lower string. We're gonna do part notes of the E minor pentatonic. We're gonna go to a higher bend up here. Fifteenth fret of the second string. So. If you do that little slide there, it kind of adds some style points, you know. Then we're gonna get into like a thing with this E string. And that's your E7-9 chord, so you got a 7 on the 5th string, 6 on the 4th string, and you got this 3rd string barring these 3 7s down here. Couple hits on that. And then we have a little couple of bass riffs that kind of happen on this, in this rhythm guitar part kind of thing. So we got... So one of the little things is 7-9, 7-9, 7. Nine, seven, nine, seven. So the variation that is kind of do those hammers again, kind of go up to that 11 and back down to the 9 and 7. And after the first couple of chords of each verse, it kind of skips the chords and kind of just goes into this little bass riff while he's singing. gets ready to go into the they do a little chromatic walk up which would be like the E big E in its octave second fret of the D string so a little bit of a walk up on that on that uh, chromatic kind of octaves Okay, so that's basically them changes. Let's go over that intro again one more time. Two, three, four. Next riff.
it does that a while and then you get that octave thing. So that's kind of, you know, you're doing the open and the second, you gotta block, you gotta mute those other strings. So I'm touching that fifth string with that finger and I'm using that finger to mute these other strings down here. So when I start doing those other octaves, I got the one and the three on the D string, one on the E and three on the D. And I'm muting all those other strings. I'm not getting any noises. So that's important for this type of a riff. Kind of does a little kind of a walk like that. And then you get back to this other riff. Okay, so basically that's all I'm gonna show you for them changes right now. Now I'm gonna go into power to love. So Power to Love is going to start out with this B7. Okay, so that's the intro of Power to Love. So what we have is a B7 here. We got 7, 9, 7, 8. 7-7. Seven, seven. So basically patterned after your E7 shape like that. So we're going to hit that once, and then we're going to go up this B minor pentatonic scale. We're going to bend this ninth fret of the G string, and then get those two 7s underneath. So. And that's a bend on the 10th fret. So that was 7-9-7-9. Hit that chord again. Now here we're gonna hit these sevens on the second and third string. And then the nines we're gonna bend up and down. So together we got. So we got the sevens back to the nine there. The so we got hammer on seven to nine on the D uh, the A string. And then the D string. And then the seven here. Kind of a quick pull off there. So once again we got. So that was the third little part. We got that same kind of bend on the ninth fret. We're gonna bend that little ten this time. And we kind of hit hit it as it and bend it down as we're coming down. And after we pull it down, we're gonna pull it off to that seven. Hit the ten seven again. So. So you see it didn't really hit that chord on that one. He kind of he doesn't have enough time kind of to get that to that next riff. Now the last riff. So we got the little seven to the second string seven to the ten to the nine on the G string. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we got a little bend on the nine and then seven, nine, seven. So let's look at that whole riff there, the whole beginning. Okay, so that's the whole beginning of the intro, then we got this new part. have is the seven and nine on the A string. Then we're getting into chords here on these middle strings. So we got sets of sevens and sets of nines here and they kind of move back and forth on these two sets of strings. That's the first one. And this is a C7 chord, an interesting inversion of a C7 chord. So it's eight, seven, eight, nine. So once again, that was. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do for that part. We're gonna move into the next part. We got. Okay, 
let's take a look at that. We got three E notes there. That's the seventh fret of the fifth string. And I go up to there, the pinky up here in the ninth fret. So it's seven, 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 five, seven, five, nine, five. And then we get in. That's kind of the end of the A minor pentatonic scale with the flat fifth. And then it's kind of a D chord to a C chord. You could kind of, it kind of sounds like it's doing the, the middle strings a little bit more to me than, than those smaller ones, but you could kind of do what you want on that. So we got. So let's try that nice and slow. One, two, three. setting up the verse so let's take a look at that new riff we got so we're sliding from the seven to the nine on the a string going down to the seven and back and then we're doing a quick hammer on seven to nine on the d string quick slide down there seven five seven seven and there's in a kind of a long wait there before you come into the riff and when you come into the riff the second time you kind of got to do it real quick to make it fit in the time that it's allotted so so also that third one kind of starts extra fast because it's coming out of the other one that kind of hesitated so once again we got you can also do a little you can do a little hammer where you hammer onto the seven to nine on the d string but you also have the seventh fret held on that G string underneath. It becomes a chord kind of thing. Sometimes he also slides that one down. So this one ends with like that. Then we get into this little chordal thing. So it's kind of like a B7 chord, you know, you're hammering in that major third from the minor third into an E chord. So it's basically like a 1-4, like a B7 to E right there. So. so it does it four times, and then the verse starts. And after four times of that, you got same riff. goes in a little quicker into that next verse and he has some bend things in this next verse little things that go along with his vocals so he's like singing what he's playing at the same time so so if you did it simply it would be that same kind of thing so this last one here that's actually going to start just with this hammer on Now this one we're gonna have a seven, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna get into this E chord. And that's your typical kind of honky tonk Chuck Berry kind of thing. You got that, you got seven and nine going to the eleven down here with the, keeping the seven bass. And then there's a little riff. And that's four to five, C sharp to D on that A string. also do like an octave then we're gonna have a similar octave thing that the other song had we're gonna go seven and nine so we get the nine on the G string we want to mute everything else we just, just want to hear those octaves so you go all the way up to the 12th fret so after we do this octave thing you're back to this riff
Okay, so we got stuff like that. Then later on in the song, uh, let's see, about two minutes, 48 seconds, you come back to this riff. And of course, there's tons of other great songs, tons of great solos all over that stuff. I just wanted to give you, I wanted to get into it myself and get some of those riffs figured out again. Uh, you know, played through them a little bit before in the past. But um, great stuff by Hendrix, great little riffs there. So I'll, I'll keep it coming with the Band of Gypsy stuff coming soon later on this week. So please like and subscribe. That Power to Love was a request from a long time ago. So sorry it took me so long to get to that. But uh, let me know what you want to hear. Please like and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.